Hello everybody. In today's touch designer video, we will be actually uh, going through a specific project file that I've created for the Patreons. Uh, now, as you can see, this particular project has got so many colorful designs and um, there, are, there are so many other options that you can play around with and can produce some of the best outputs. Uh, now, again, this is not for every user. Uh, I'm not going to make any tutorial for this at this point of time. This is a very exclusive Patreon only post that I'm creating. And if you guys really want to be my Patreon, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, it just uh, in Australian dollar, it's just eight dollars, 50 cents in American dollars. It's going to be well, just five dollars. Um, there are so many things that you can actually get through that are exclusive posts that I've created for the Patreons. So feel free to be my subscriber and support me uh, in this time. And uh, believe me, guys, every single support that you guys give it to me is really, really appreciated from bottom of my heart. So um, if you guys want to be my Patreon, please subscribe to do so. And uh, I kindly request you to do that. Okay, so back to our project. So this project file has got so many variety. So currently, if you can see, there are X cycles, X and Y cycles, there are amplitude. So depending on how you, how you change things, so let's say if I change the amplitude to 1.9 and you'll see a complete different design altogether. Uh, there is a way of increasing number of samples that you see. So currently the samples are 100. I can make it as 50. Uh, I press F, I press 1 and you see a different output. Um, now I can change the Y amplitude to 1.5 and you'll see a different output altogether. Um, then there are options where I can change the uh, a sign uh, like the cycle type from sine to cosine and you will see a different output altogether. Um, then again, I can just go to constant and um, instead of 50 samples, I can make it as 100 samples. So you'll see a different output altogether. Uh, the other thing, I can slow down the movement of particle by the time. So instead of 10, I can make it as five. So you see the movement very smooth. And um, and again, you know, these are like different options through which you can play around. Um, then you also have an option of switching level on and off. So if you want to disable the feedback, uh, I mean, enable the feedback, then uh, you could do so uh, by toggling the level. So as you can see, the patterns are just wiping off in a given, sp uh, in a given span of time. Uh, again, uh, there is a lot can be done through this. I can increase the cycle from 1 to 1.5, and um, you would have a different output altogether. This is very, very smooth, and it has got so much more to uh, showcase. Now, again, this is 100 particles at this point of time. I can make it as oh, 50, and I can see how the outputs are turning around. Uh, the the there are there are other options that we always have in our hand. Is like uh, we changed uh, the sine patterns, the pattern type from sine to cosine. I could do the same here as well, and we can see how well the output is coming up. So there are multiple things that can be done through this project file. Um, there was a lot of research uh, which I had to spend um, to get through this entire design. But yes, it's all available for Patreons. Uh, there's a lot can be done on top of it. You can enable the blur. So you can have really uh, a smooth output. Um, and of course, I mean, it really provides really good visuals. The other thing that you could try is you can actually go and use a scale. So you can see how the particles are just bouncing around. And let me disable this so you can get an idea that how well the outputs are coming around. The other thing that you also have in your hand is playing around with uh, the B. So, so let me let me just disable the transform. 
Okay. And then all I do is, so instead of 10, let's make it as five. So the overall design that you would see, you'd see very small, but then you'll be able to identify how well the particles are moving in and out. Um, you also have an option of working with the colors. So currently uh, the colors are changing very quickly. You can just make it very smooth by just reducing the multiplier and uh, you can get an idea about that. Now again, we had the value as 10, we made it as five, let's change it to eight, and you'd see a different output altogether. Um, and again, X cycle has been set as 1.3, let's make it as one. And yeah, uh, there is a lot of thing uh, which can be done just by, just by going over these options and the outputs are just amazing. Again, as I said, this is exclusive Patreon only post. So if you guys want to be my Patreon, so if you guys want to be my Patreon, please, uh, please subscribe. Uh, it's very, very uh, cheap subscription that I've got. Um, and uh, there is a lot that I create for the Patreons. So yeah, uh, I'm sure like, you know, this is going to be a very good experience for all of you to learn something more about Touch Designer. And believe me, every subscriber means a lot to me and your contribution is definitely going in a good way. So yeah, thank you so much for subscribing me and I hope you enjoy this wonderful post.